Hey there, this is Logan Crockett with Full Circle Music. I am coming to you from our recording studios here in Nashville, Tennessee, and we are here today to answer your questions about the music industry. So you guys asked if we would recommend using CD Baby, and I've got some thoughts for you. So first of all, CD Baby is a decently sized company and they offer a lot of things. Uh, there's a lot of things going down over at CD Baby, and so, if you're asking this question, uh, it might depend on what specifically you're looking to use them for. But overall, CD Baby as a company, I, I do think that they do a lot of really great things, especially for independent artists. Um, not only do they have some great offerings as, as far as um, things you can pay for and services that you can have them uh, do for you, uh, but they, they have a lot of great content out there. Conferences, podcasts, blog, um, they're, they're definitely in it to help independent artists, and I think that's really great. Um, as far as what, what I think when most people think of CD Baby, what, what they're primarily thinking of is should I use CD Baby in order to um, get my album or single or whatever out uh, to the world um, regarding uh, getting it on platforms like iTunes and Apple Music and Spotify and YouTube Music and Amazon, all that kind of fun stuff. And on that level, I, I do think that CD Baby is a pretty solid choice. I've definitely personally used them in the past. Um, and the great thing about CD Baby is they are pretty low cost to get started. I believe uh, pricing can change with them from time to time, but I believe typically a single is around $10 and um, an album or a collection of songs would be more around $49 or something like that. And really that, that is compared to a lot of other services that do something similar to this as far as getting your music up on these um, digital streaming platforms and digital sales platforms for music. Um, I, I, they are lower on initial cost than a lot of other things out there. And, and their, their interface is pretty user friendly. It's not that hard to figure out. They have um, not, not the best customer support I've seen from any company, but it, it's pretty solid. Um, they'll, they'll help you out if you get confused on stuff. Uh, so on that level, yeah, I, I think CD Baby is really cool. Now the caveat though is that they take percentages, higher percentages on the back end than other companies do. So so some companies might charge more upfront or might charge like an annual fee or maybe even a monthly fee in order to uh, be sending your music out to these different platforms and then be collecting money and paying you on your behalf. They, they might charge some sort of more, yeah, ongoing fee or higher upfront fee, but um, that can be worth it to you because they might not take percentages on the back end. So CD Baby, if you sell an album, first of all, let's just take iTunes for example. If you sell an album, uh, iTunes is already going to take a, a pretty significant cut of that sale. Um, and then CD Baby, uh, it, it's smaller than iTunes, um, but, but CD Baby is also going to take their own cut out of what iTunes pays CD Baby, and then CD Baby will take a percentage from there, and then what is left, CD Baby will pay to you. Um, so again, it's not a huge, it's not a huge cut, which is why it doesn't bother me personally. Um, but but it is something, and so if you're selling hundreds of or thousands or whatever of songs, um, that 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 extra percentage can definitely add up over time. And so I would definitely recommend if, if you're selling that kind of volume, if you know for a fact that you're just going to sell a ridiculous amount of songs, um, then using another service that might charge a higher front end fee, but doesn't have those um, percentages that they charge on the back end. Uh, in the long run, you might make more money if you go with another services that if you go with another service that does their business model that way. But for a CD baby, um, I think it'd be really good, uh, especially for musicians who are more so just starting out. I, I think a lot of people overestimate how how well their songs are gonna do um, and if you're paying another service like $50 a year um, and, and you only sell a, a few a handful of copies um, on iTunes or something like that and you only get you know a few hundred streams um, you're going to make less than that $50 and you're going to literally lose money from that deal. But at least with CD Baby, um, yeah, if it's just like one song and you pay the 10 bucks, um, I mean, really all you need is, I mean, if you if you make 20 sales, you're, you're gonna make that back right there. Um, so yeah, so ultimately I, I think that CD Baby on that level, especially for musicians, musicians who are more so just starting, I think it can pretty, be a pretty solid choice. CD Baby is also an interesting company because they do offer some other options, services, 
um, things that they can do for you that, that other similar companies don't offer. For instance, uh, CD Baby has a pro package and with that pro package, they'll do things like collect royalties for you worldwide. They also have um, something you can purchase where they will actually license a cover song on your behalf, which I find very helpful for a lot of people. Um, and, and another feature of CD Baby, so, so all, everything that I just mentioned so far, overall, I, I think is really good, um, especially if you're on the more starting out side of things. Um, one thing I do want to caution against uh, is is the idea of being on CD Baby's music store. Um, it, it can't hurt anything. It, it's nice to just be featured somewhere, sure. Um, th there was a time more back in the mid to late, um, you know, from like 2000 to 2010, that kind of era, when... Um, when everything was sales, there was no streaming, and um, having your music available to download on a site was was really exciting. And and, and I will say the good, the great thing about CD Baby and their store is it does offer a decent way. Um, if you need to sell CDs online, um, using their store as a platform to sell physical CDs, um, I, I don't think that that's a bad option at all. But as far as expecting anything from the digital side. Um, that I would not, I would not count on really seeing much return at all from the digital side, um, just because of exposure. I mean, just these, this day and age, no one's really going to the CD Baby web store to purchase the latest song from whoever. If people are going to do that, they're going to go to iTunes or Amazon or something to, to download music from a platform like that. So using CD Baby's store service um if, if that's the your primary consideration for some reason with using cd baby i wouldn't get too excited about that that said i do think it's a good idea to have a store i do think it's a good idea to sell digital music online outside of the bubble of things like itunes and spotify and amazon and all that kind of stuff and the reason for that and i I could be wrong on this, um, so don't quote me, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that CD Baby, just like those companies, they don't give you the information of people who buy, meaning if you have a fan and they go on and buy your music, then after they make the purchase, in theory, you know, as long as they like the music that they get, uh, they're probably going to be a fan. It would definitely probably be fair to say that. Unfortunately, you don't know how to contact them. You don't have any of their information. Um, it's a huge problem with a platform like Amazon where you, and for, for not just music, but like selling anything. You sell anything on Amazon and Amazon's not going to give you their email address or, or any other contact information or anything like that. So you just have no idea who who even likes you, who even likes your music um, or, or anything that they bought. So, so, so that's why selling things through your own medium, through your own store is so important. And well, when I was starting off, um, I, I just say this because literally well, when I put out my first record in college, it was a full like 13 track record. Um, I threw everything that I made through CD Baby between, um, I'm pretty much through a, a few, you know, handful of Spotify streams and a decent amount of like iTunes sales and that kind of thing. Um, I ended up making like within the first year, year and a half, less than a hundred dollars, um, which obviously ain't, you know, there's not a whole lot of musician can do with that. Um, but I actually created my own store on my own website and used a funnel strategy to like, which just means being really, really, really smart about sales and actually controlling the sales process and having say in how that works. Um, I did it that way and I made over $2,000 as a college student straight up from selling music. I brought in that much revenue. Um, so that was so exciting for me. And anyway, all that to say, CD Baby is great. If you want to get your music out on, yeah, again, your iTunes and your Apple Music and your Amazon and your Spotify and all that kind of fun, um, CD Baby can definitely be a great option for that. But if you want to make real money from selling your music, especially if you're just starting out, if you're more on the independent artist side of things, I would highly recommend using a funnel strategy. And lucky for you, um, we would be more than happy to teach you exactly how to use a funnel strategy. And I will include a link with more information to a full course that we have about the funnel strategy down in the description below. So if that sounds like something that would be helpful to you, make sure you check that out. All right, thanks for watching. 
If you learned something, if this video was helpful to you, we really would appreciate it if you would go down there and hit that like button. It's super quick, super easy, super simple. And it does make us more friendly with the YouTube, so that would be awesome. But more importantly, we're actually doing a whole lot more videos just like this one where we are answering the internet's top questions about the music industry. And so if you aren't subscribed to our channel and it sounds like you would love to hear our answers to some other questions, then please subscribe so that way you don't miss those. Also, speaking of questions, if you have any more questions, maybe there was something you weren't sure about regarding this video, or you're wondering about a completely different topic in the music industry, go ahead, go down to that comment section and uh, write your question and let us know what's up and we would be happy to get back to you and answer that or maybe even make a future video about it. The last thing that I wanna let you know is that at Full Circle Music, our team has created an awesome resource for you, totally free, and it's just a free mini training class that teaches you exactly what to do if you really wanna have a career career in the music industry. So if you would like to check out that free class, and again, it's totally for free, um, you can click right over here. And if you click on that button, then you should get immediate access to that class. And that would be really cool. Um, or if you would rather go and check out another video that answers a top question about the music industry, you can do that by clicking right up there.